Does a USB 3 front panel right angle connector actually work? Connecting from your motherboard to a right angle? Obviously, like I literally just said, I have no idea if this even works, so I bought one to see if it actually would work, and I'm gonna be demonstrating for you that in this video. So let's get uh, the computer up here so I can test this thing out. Haha, <laughs> actually just kidding, let's take a look at it. So here is this one side. Now there is two variants of this connector. There is this way, and then there's also this way. And you might be wondering, Zach, what's the difference between them? It is the way that this notch right here is located. You can actually have it going the other way. For instance, a right angle going off to the left. Do you understand? There you go. So it works pretty well. Anyway, this is the adapter. I think there's 20 pins total. Hold on, let me count them. There's 19 and there's actually like a pin missing in the corner and that's normal. That's how it's supposed to be. Anyway, this is the other side. It's a pretty easy like uh, construction here. It's got like a PCB right there and it's just soldered connected on either side. And so it's also got some foam up here so you can rest like a graphics card on top of that. That's what I'm gonna be doing with mine. Actually, why don't I just show you uh, the computer and everything, the problem about it. So this, is an HP Pro desktop. And as you can see, here it is the beautiful internals. Now, if we take a close look inside to uh, right here, here is the USB front panel connector. And the problem is, is the graphics card. A longer graphics card can't fit in there. It will always come in contact with this. So therefore I need this adapter. And this is why I'm making the video to see if this thing can actually work. All right, now let's see how um, easy this goes in. So if I had the other adapter, it would run right into the RAM and therefore I can plug that in. It actually fit pretty well. Let's see if I, I'm gonna have to plug this in first. There we go. I'm gonna sacrifice three SATA ports, it looks like. Are you kidding me? Come on. Are you kidding me? This SATA port will not work? Might have to do a little bit of sanding to get this all to fit. Okay, so there it is. I don't know why they make the adapter so big. It doesn't have to be so big. The USB 3 front panel connector. So can we get the SATA? Okay, there we can get the SATA in. Actually, actually not too bad whatsoever. Anyway, there we go. If you want to get check out me, put a graphics card in, uh, pretty much have a rant about this computer, you can check out the second channel. That video will probably be coming out in a couple of days or weeks or whatever. I have no idea when. Anyway, now that it's in, I should probably mention that when this computer turns on and the USB 3 connection front panel connector is not connected, it'll give you an error. So if it gives us an error when we boot it up, then we know that it uh, doesn't really work. But if it doesn't and boots in to, oh, I don't know, SSD with Windows. If it beats into Windows, then we should be good. Anyway, let's test it. Okay, so here's the computer. I got it all plugged in into the monitor here. Now let's see if it actually has an error. Here's the power button. And then it will, um, front USB 2 not connected? Hold on one sec. All right, so I got a mouse and keyboard uh, plugged in now. So take two. Really? What's, what's your issue this time? Does this connect both the USB 2s and 3s? Why would it do that? Okay, let's see if it works normally. Okay, so I'm just taking off this. Uh, oh, goodness. Come on. I'm completely removing the pins from the plastic. Duh. Duh. Oh, come on. I don't want to start bending the pins for crying out loud. Why is this so tough? It, uh, it fits pretty tight, so normally without the adapter there, what, no problem whatsoever? Uh, you're stupid. Maybe there was just a bad connection before. I'm gonna try it again. What? Come on. Every single time you turn on the computer, it beeps. Yeah, it's so hard. Manufacturing is pathetic. But... Great, I'm starting to bend the pins. This is fantastic. All right, so let's take a look at this. Uh, USB 3, USB 2. Oh look, USB 2 does work. How about the other USB 2? Oh look, that one works also. How about the USB uh, 3? Oh, would you look at that, it works. And the next one? absolutely works. HP, you make the dumbest computer. It, 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 it's a perfectly fine adapter. There's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with it. Here, I'm going to turn it off and turn it back on and see if, see if that helps. 922 front USB not connected. What does that even mean? 922 front USB not connected. It's just not going to like it? Well, whatever. That does still mean the adapter actually still works. But that means it's just, it's stupid. So if you had an okay motherboard like anything that's not this OEM crap, uh, it would probably totally easily work. So 
yeah, this actually does work as I have demonstrated with the USB drive and it actually works fine. Interesting. Uh, so there are two variants of these. If you wanna go check them out, link in the description, you can check them out. This has been a video testing out the USB front panel right angle connector to see if it actually works. And the answer is yes, it does except for some OEM pre-built, it will give you unnecessary uh, beeping noises at the start of every boot, and then you have to press F1. Can you get around this? There's probably a way with some ground wire to wire and do some modifications, but I honestly don't feel like doing that much work, and uh, I kind of have a simple fix, just never turn off your computer. Anyway, that is pretty much the end of the testing. Uh, this was like a HP Pro desktop, and that's pretty much it. If you want to pick one up, like I said, uh, the link's down in the description. Anyway, with that being said, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.